Hey guys, Leslie Ambrose here with the latest in music and entertainment. Now traffic isn't too bad right now. It is around 6 p.m. Typical rush hour here in Los Angeles. But with the rain that we've been seeing all day on and off, it could get worse. You guys, I got to interview Ryan Gosling and some amazing other people that have put together this really cool musical talking about Los Angeles and celebrating it. This distracted driving simulator really shows you how easy it is to either be in a minor collision like what I just what just happened to me right now or to even be in a major collision. Didn't make it to the stadium, but they made it out to their favorite brewery spot. Also in this room, so it's not just one, but it's two rooms full of people. They've got K-Rock here, spinning some tunes whenever, you know, the game's not going on. According to Curb Los Angeles, over 2,700 Garfield High School students walked out of their school's front doors across the street and did not return until the end of the school day. Do you think music is going to become a little more politically active this next year? I think so. I think that they have a voice, you know. This is a march all the way from MacArthur Park. You can see behind me there are tons of people this way and over here in front of me. We have a lot of people walking in solidarity, a lot of people who are actually dreamers. We made our way all the way to Alvarado. The number of homeless individuals has risen from 32,000 to 55,000 in the last six years. That's a 75% surge, but the Real Change Movement says that it's donated nation meters like this that could bring down those numbers. According to the Public Policy Institute of California, one out of 10 workers out of the 2 million immigrants in California is undocumented. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi held the floor for eight hours today in defense of Dreamers. She shared stories from people who were brought to the country illegally when they were young. Y no sé de ustedes, pero a mí el cafecito y el postrecito me encanta. Así que es tiempo de explorar algunos de las cafeterías latinas más populares en el sur de California. Michelle Hanabusa is creating a new kind of streetwear, one that lets you sweat and still look good. This is all thanks to the combination of cotton and athletic wear fabric. There's two different layers that are like intertwined um, in one fabric. And the first one, it actually absorbs your sweat. And then the second layer helps it like release it. Hanabus is the co-founder of Uprising, the company behind what they like to call the world's smartest tea. Our mission is more than just selling clothing. It's, it's about building a community of uprisers. And what that means is, is, is finding people, building a community so that we can continue to uplift each other and, and inspire one another. They're moisture wicking, fast drying, and even control odors. Michelle Hanabusa says all this and they're still under your budget. She's a Los Angeles native and so are her shirts. Everything is made in Compton. The brand is launching an online campaign called American Made. Its goal is to celebrate diversity in the United States by photographing hundreds of people from every belief, ethnicity, and sexual orientation. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, uh, YouTube, we're taking over the internet and sending the message of unity and hoping that that changes the country. Uprising launches on May 2nd, and according to Hanabusa, her tees are about to become your new favorite shirt. For Annenberg Media, I'm Leslie Ambris. I felt like it was forever, even though it was three minutes, but it was like forever for me. At 4.30 p.m., one hour later, that simple life we all shared was soon no longer to exist. 
Angela Hefter lost her 18-year-old son on September 12, 2008. Jacob was riding a Metrolink train that collided with another train in Chatsworth. 24 other passengers also died. The train engineer ran a red light because he was texting. The Hefter family now travels to schools with this trailer. It might look like an arcade inside, but this isn't about fun or games. We thought that was the best way to try and use the technology and show people what really can happen rather than it actually happening to them. The family is partnering with California Highway Patrol and a national organization called Impact Teen Driving. We could fill over eight yellow school buses with the number of teens we lost last year to preventable crashes. And 75% of all those fatal crashes didn't involve alcohol and drugs, but everyday behaviors we all do. This distracted driving simulator really shows you how easy it is to either be in a minor collision, like what I just what just happened to me right now, or to even be in a major collision. Students did have fun. But at least some of them say they got the message. It was definitely fun, but it did like show me some awareness of how hard it really was to text and drive. Not only am I putting myself at risk, I'm putting everybody else who's on the road with me, especially because I am a new driver at risk. So it's definitely eye-opening. Today and every day, 11 more families will lose someone because of texting and driving. For Annenberg Media, I'm Leslie Ambris.